everyone. I'm Gary Seibel, and welcome to Harness Racing's Fall Classic. We're live at the Showboat Hotel, Casino, and Bowling Center for the 1999 Showboat Invitational. Hello, everyone. I'm Gary Seibel, along with PBA Hall of Famer Marshall Holman. Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Seibel, and welcome to our coverage of the 87th Hamiltonian here on CBS Sports Network. This is not your father's college bowl. This is Rock and Bowl. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the All-American Sport Park here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Gary Seibel, along with 12-time PBA titleist Randy Peterson. And folks, you've never, ever seen a place like this before, and I guarantee you, you haven't seen the kind of bowling like we're going to show you tonight. Yeah, we've got your traditional bowling, but we also have some way cool, way out, crazy bowling, man. On it earlier today as well. This is an incredible day for Greg Peck so far, and if he and Sears team up with Muscle Hill, I mean, forget it. That's over the top. Hey, guys back there. No worries, mate. <laughs> back to y'all. Welcome back, everybody. Gary Seibel and Matt Carruthers over here. And uh, we're sharing a bagel with cheese uh, because mm -hmm. we're getting a little bit hungry on this Sunday morning. And we're sure you're sitting there enjoying either your morning cup of coffee if you're here on the West Coast or maybe your early afternoon cocktail, particularly if you're at a racetrack, you're having right. fun, you're enjoying yourself. And if you're at home watching TVG, we're, we're darn happy that you are. I never have had a bagel with just a, a slice of cheese on top until now, and it's very, very tasty. It I is, it is it. tasty. Yeah, it's, it's fortifying, and it uh, keeps me going throughout the course of the day. Right. Of course, my cholesterol, pff, right through the roof, but forget <laughs> that. We don't. Alongside Kate and Bradar, I'm Gary Seibel, and we're so glad you could join us today for CBS Sports coverage of the Hamiltonian, and now in its 80th year, and still going strong. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt, and now horse owner and horse winner. And I assume after this, one of your great experiences, winning a horse race? Oh, absolutely. Uh, unforgettable. Yay, Gus Bowden. woo -hoo! Did you bet on the horse? I did. Excellent. How That's much? That's even better. Um, how, and how much did I bet? I don't know. I've never done it before. Not enough. Well, it's the longest running stop on the PBA Tour, and Marshall, some of the greatest names in the game have won this event. Well, Gary, in the 39 previous Showboat Invitationals, 20 Hall of Famers have won this tournament. Dave Houston, he won in 1995, and in 1990, he got lucky. Beat some guy named Holman. Well, this is the town you want to get lucky in. Besides, you've won your share. And today, another future Hall of Famer looks to win this tournament for the second time. Top seed, Parker Bone the third. That's why I worry about your selection, the five silver bishop. He'll be so far back in the early going and probably won't have that fast pace to run at. All right, we'll find out. Thanks for knocking my selection, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, I sit at home and I watch this, and I, I say, I can't watch this anymore. I've got to use the clicker, and I turn it. I wish I got trackside live at home. At least people sit here. Now, there are probably people I sitting do. at home doing this. <laughs> See you, pal. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Gary Seibel, and welcome to Trotters and Pacers, stories of harness racing. You know, on most days at harness tracks like this one, it's pretty quiet. But at night, when the action heats up, this place is all abuzz, and these seats are filled. Now, assistant trainer Tom Albertrani told me that he has a tendency to be a bit temperamental. So one of the things they do to keep him happy and comfortable is to provide him with homemade grub. That's right, imported straight from Dubai. And Dave, the producers of this feed have some fast but finicky customers. And winning Hamiltonian experience as well. Five of the eight trainers have won it at least once. Four of the drivers have won it at least once. It's got global appeal. It's an incredible race. It's the race that everyone wants to win. Well, it all comes down to this. We started with 16 teams. Tonight, we have just two, but only one will win the Rock and Bowl title. A way cool trophy and $10,000 in scholarship money. Is there anything else I can say? Nah, let's rock 